my little GPS turret assembled here. Um, it's one of those uh, turrets that can collapse by, you just turn this loose and you pull it open and you can collapse it. However, I seriously doubt <laughs> I'm going to ever collapse it. But anyway, um, just a little note. When you do assemble these, um, I didn't make a video on how to assemble uh, the turret or the mount or stalk or whatever you want to call it. But uh, um, it's really incredibly simple. There's only three screws that you get. And two of these screws are these submersion screws. And they actually f uh, hold onto the... Um, the plastic stalk or it may be carbon fiber depending on where you've bought it I did add a thread locker to those there's one there and there's one yeah um, if yours has this little um, angled edges the screw still goes in straight it doesn't go in at an angle um, the blue stuff you see there's some thread locker that which is actually <laughs> leaking off there but I just put a absolute little tiny bit there uh, because you don't want this coming off in flight and your GPS go flying off. Cheers, bye. <laughs> um, another thing, um, if you get this kind of one, you'll see that uh, your screw on this back, this hex screw, um, actually can recess. It, it falls, there's a recess. So when you screw it in, just make sure you're on the recess side. Um, okay, right, that's it. It has been assembled. And uh, I actually, uh, I wouldn't say I ran into a problem, but <laughs> yes, it is a bit of an irritation, which I just discovered that the GPS cable, which I have now plugged into my flight controller, is at the front, and it is not very long. So it's going to fit there, yes, but just, just. Now, I'm actually going to try it like that. I, uh, um, if that is wrong, if anyone believes that is wrong, please, there's still some hot glue here remaining from the previous installation, the way I had it, and I, I don't want to, I don't even want to fiddle with this. But anyway, oh, there's actually coming off. <laughs> right, beautiful. Uh, which just makes these wires look a little cleaner. Uh, right. But anyway, here is the original GPS module. Now, as I said, I want to keep the CX-20 as original as possible. So I'm actually going to go back to my original GPS. I did not have any problems with my CX-20 as it was. So that's going to be mounted on there. It has no casing. It has no round housing, etc. But I'm going to leave it as is, just like that. The only other problem that I do have... Um, I'm calling it a problem, but it's not really a problem, is where to mount my compass. Now, please, guys, if, if anyone has better suggestions or other way it should be mounted, by all means, let me know in the comments. There's still some hot glue. <laughs> so there's hot glue all over the place on this thing. Um, I was trying to keep things a little more stable because the inside of the housing of or the frame of the original 620 is very loose it's it's crazy this thing is mounted on that little plastic turret which breaks off for nothing it cracks so i'm going to mount this let me just take that off and it doesn't fall off way back here i'm going to keep it away from the electronics i'm going to mount it way back here now that's the actual orientation and this is its cable, which is going to go in there, and I'll, I'll cable tie that down. Um, now, I'm hoping that that is actually going to be a good place to mount it, because even though I have the battery inserted here, the battery lead is going to connect on the front of the battery. So I'm going to insert the battery head first, and then connect it that way. So it is away from a lot of disturbance, and I'm hoping this part of the, the quadcopter doesn't vibrate too much. I don't want to mount it onto the stalk because I, I tested the stalk and it, it I feel that it, it's going to transmit more vibration than mounting it directly onto the body. But we'll see. If anyone has suggestions there, by all means, let me know. Right, my next step is I'm going to measure my little holes that I want to drill there and I'm, I'm going to check the orientation of my turret 
because if I do want to collapse it, I want to collapse it to the front. Um, but anyway, we'll get there. I'm just going to now measure my uh, holes, drill the holes, and I'm going to get that mounted. And I will be back with you once I've done that and wired up everything, including the compass. Okay, we, we now have the GPS turret mounted and I have the compass set up there, which is in exactly the orientation that it was. And uh, that is pretty much the top side of this thing finished. This is pretty sturdy. The last thing remaining is now to just again fit the bottom plate the bottom plate needs to be fitted and uh, attaching the legs as part of uh, the mounting for the legs at the, uh, the bottom plate and then we are going to be pretty much done okay I'm gonna be back once I've uh, done that and I'll show you the final and we can insert a battery and see if she fires up <laughs> 